guys how you doing today hope all is well in your neck of the world woods <laughs> worlds we all live in the same world I have no idea where that came from so anyways I'm in the middle of a project I ran out of flowers so I thought I'd do a really quick tutorial on a black and white flower so basically all it is is a log of white clay and this is primo and I rolled it into a log about maybe about one and a half inches like I normally do. Okay, and then we're just going to cut not quite half. Okay, like that. And then I take my black and I have it at a number one. And all I'm going to do is cut a little strip. And I'm going to make sure that it stays inside the white. Okay. And then I have this side. Okay, and with this, I'm going to do a quick cut right in the middle. Okay, and I still want to make sure that it's going to be wide enough. Because when you cut, it seems to change the shape. So we're going to take a white piece. And we're only going to go halfway up on this. probably one of the easiest flowers you can make okay so that's the way I want it like that so we're gonna take this and I'm just gonna go I don't know a little less than a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna set it right there on the bottom Oops, that's the wrong bottom. All right, let me do that again. I'm going to go a little thicker, I think. So we'll go about right there. I'm going to let it stick out just a little bit. It's basically just a little stem sticking out. Okay. I don't want any air bubbles, so I'm trying to make it so I just need to flatten this out a little bit. And as you can see, it's not as wide as what it was. So what I'm going to do is add just a tiny bit of white. Sometimes it happens and just want to make it more round and more the same size right there. basically filling in that gap ok 
time. There we go. Now it's a little more round. Okay, and then I left the space here on purpose because this had black in it in the first place. So I'm just making sure I got the black all the way up to the top. And now I'm going to take this at a number one and I'm going to wrap it all in black. You wouldn't believe what I just did. This black should not have been on this black. This black was for the bottom. Boy, I'm glad I found that before I wrapped this. That was supposed to go here. Nice job, eh? So let's try that again. It's supposed to go here. So now we're going to add just a little bit of white. Silly girl. Alright, so now Okay, I'm going to put all that right in the missing spots right there And then we're just going to take some of this extra off Not that much, but every little bit can be used somewhere else. So, okay, so now we're just going to reduce this, and I'll probably do either five or six petals. We'll see how small it gets, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and we reduced it, and then I ended up cutting it before I turned the camera back on. Sorry about that, but we just went five. Now, it's not one of my best canes, obviously. I didn't go all the way across, or I didn't take off some of that white that was on the side of where I was at. So, that kind of made a little bit of a space here. But, I'm okay with that. So, now I'm just going to work on the center. I made this about an inch instead of one and a half inches. Hmm, that's still too tall. Okay. Oops. Now I've just got to debate if I want to go a little smaller.
Okay, so they're all touching the center. Usually I go six petals with this. You can go six to eight. But since I started with such a small king, I'm only getting five out of this. And that's okay too. I think my cane that I made before was six, so. Hoping it doesn't destroy it. Okay, so I don't know if I want to make that center just a little smaller. Or if I just want to fill all this up with um, translucent. I think I might just go a little bit smaller. As you can see, it's going to be a small cane anyways. I didn't need a whole lot of it. It's nice to have extra, though, for other projects, but I can never seem to make any extra whenever I do any of my stuff. All right, so that's going to be good enough. Not sure how much of that I just changed, but... So now we're just going to make sure that this is all lined up. And that is, and those are all touching where they should. All right, so now we're just going to get some translucent. We're going to need a lot more than that. inch just to gauge an idea of how big we need these and honestly that looks perfect that looks a little bigger so we're gonna Take that bigger chunk that I have over here. And we're just going to stretch it out. Okay, so again, we're just going to check it. Make sure that they're all touching still. Sometimes they like to move around. I cut off a little bit of the extra right there. And as usual, we're going to take a wrap. And I go to a zero for this. Cut that in half and go again. And it worked. Wow, today is actually a good cane day. <laughs> I'm actually not having a whole lot of problems today. Especially when I'm being speedy Gonzalez here and trying to work really fast, but then I don't normally make canes this small. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce this and I'll come right back and I'll show you the slice. All right, so we are back. Got a little bit of waste on the end, unfortunately. I 
don't know where it ends, so we're going to take it from the center. Okay, and there are our little flowers. Cute, huh? So now we have black and white little double, double-edged flowers. So hope you like that. It was pretty quick. I'm glad I got it done fast. I just hope I didn't miss any steps, and I hope you understood what I said as I was making it. If not, I apologize, and my next video will be a little more slowed down. I don't know why I'm in a frantic race today, but you guys have a great day. Stay safe out there, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.